Yes, children. See, in optics, we learned regarding the concept one. In the concept one, basically, you, what you learned regarding the mirrors, right, children? In the mirror, the magnification, you have said out, right, ma? So, magnification is given by, okay? Magnification is equals to size of the, size of the image, image by size of the object, size of the object. Clear, ma? Where size of the image, you can observe, suppose stand in front of the plane mirror. So how much height you are there, the same height of the image you are going to get in the mirror. So size, we can take it as a height also from distance from here to here and distance from here, here to here as also constant. So we also write magnification as height of the image by height of the object. Or we can also write object distance and image distance. Okay, U by V. So R, sorry, this is V by U. Image distance by object to distance. So all these are the magnification formula. How can you going to magnify image in the plane mirror? In case of the plane mirror, we cannot magnify the image. How much you are there? The same height image will going to suppose you are there of 150 centimeter. Your image is also 150 centimeters only. It won't increase or it won't decrease. Right children? So let us write this value. Height of the object. This is the height of the image. And this is the height of the object. Hope it is clear, children. Now, height of the image is 150. Height of the image object is also 150. What will happen? It will cancel. You will get a magnification is plus 1. R is also called as a unity. Okay. So, in case of the plane mirror, magnification is always 1. It won't magnify anything. But in case of the spherical mirrors, like curved mirrors, the magnification will vary. So, next concept based on spherical mirror, that time we are going to discuss for spherical mirrors, it is not equal to 1. It will less than 1 and it will greater than 1. So, we are going to discuss in that conditions. Yeah, and next, uh, what are the other topics we have discussed children in concept 1, theory concept. Characteristics of the plane mirrors. And uh, coming to the plane mirror, some of the properties, what we not understood so far. So one is magnification is always unity, R plus one. And coming to the focal length, in case of the spherical mirror, just imagine this is a spherical mirror means you're going to extend this in the form of a sphere. So when you're going to extend this in the form of a circle as a sphere, then where you're going to get one center. And from center to circumference of a circle, that is what we call radius in normal circle. In physics, we can call this as a radius of curvature. So you have to half the radius of curvature. Then you will get a focal length. Okay. The focal length. So for the imprint of the plane mirror, you just stand and see children. You can see up to infinite distance how much you can able to see. There is no any limit for this. So focal length will be infinite like R by 2. So, in case of a uh, spherical mirror, but in case of plane mirror, there is no any center. You're going to extend this as a circle, not possible. So, where is this end point? We're going to extend at infinite, it will be form a circle. That is why we can write radius of curvature of the plane mirror. Okay. Radius of curvature of the plane mirror is infinity. So, that focal length is also in R by 2, that is infinity by 2, get you again infinity only. Okay, so focal length will be infinity, magnification is 1 and the radius of curvature is also infinity for the plane mirror. Okay, for the spherical mirror it will be very, when we are going to discuss that spherical mirrors, I will explain it. Hope it is clear children, for a plane mirror and the image will be erect. See if you stand, a head will be up, tile will be down, so image will be also like this only. There won't be like an inverted image, okay, it won't form inverted image. It will always form erect image this image what we call erect image and here actually incident rays are not meeting sir actually reflected rays are won't meet when falls on the mirror they will go outward like this but when you going to see your image this is actually the appear to meet inverted rays reflected rays two reflected rays are appears to meet so that is why what we call this as a virtual image okay this is a virtual image of your real object Okay, so this is I hope clear children in the last class we understood right. In case of the plane mirror, if object is real, then you will get image is the virtual. Suppose if object is virtual, then you will get image is real. Okay, this vice versa going to happen takes place in the plane mirrors. Okay, virtual image or real image or next one is erect images you will going to get magnification 
is unity okay so these are the points you just keep in mind so that will be helpful to solve the problems right go for the problems children now yes see the first question children here focal length of a plane mirror is what is the focal length of the plane mirror they are asking see focal length of the plane mirror already i told you f is equals to infinity because uh, there is no any radius of curvature you're going to extend this in the form of a circle radius so that you don't get in a, in a existing length or a proper material like fires and strength and meter won't get it will be existing radius of curvature not there infinity so focal length is also infinity if you want right remember formula so if you do radius of curvature by 2 then you get focal length that is option c the first question is children option c it is focal length is infinity we can able to see up to infinite distance okay in the plane mirror clearly you can see up to you, how much you can able to see up to infinite distance whatever object is there at infinity also we can able to see in the plane mirror next one the magnification of an object due to the plane mirror is what is the magnification see i told you magnification formula is height of the image by height of the object so height of the object like 2 means height of the image must be 2 only in the plane mirror so right children i think every day you are observing your face in the mirror what is your height of the face same height of the image you are going to get in mirror so it is plus 1 so it will just 2 by 2 you want to cancel it get only one always right second question is clear it is one so option it is a next third question a beam of incident okay a beam of light incident on a plane mirror forms a real image on reflection okay the incident beam is see whatever incident rays when the incident rays are going to meet right two incident rays that is what we call object when it falls on the mirror okay the reflected rays are appears to meet on the back side that is what we call image okay children here what happened to incident rays they are going to converge right so intersection also called also we also called as a converge when two incident rays are converging here and they are forming a real object okay so what they given real image okay real image is also same thing when incident rays coming from the back so they going to incident here okay after reflection they going to incident at this point and they give him the okay they going to meet at back children sorry they going to meet here that is what we call a uh, virtual image so what is given in the question a beam of light incident on the plane mirror forms a real image okay this is a real image actual reflected rays are meeting no this is a real image so the incident beam is incident beam is what happen it is going to converging so after reflection it will going to meet at one point that is what we can call it is a convergent okay option b for the third one converging fourth question see if the eye lies okay if the if our eyes lies in the field of view then only we can able to see the object right children what is the field of view this is a plane mirror the distance between two extreme reflected rays when the ray going to incident on the end point of the mirror and the other side as or the end point of the mirror then reflected ray will go like this so this is the last two reflected rays no that is what we call extreme reflected the distance between this two extreme reflected rays that is what we call field of view if you lies in the field of view you can see your image if you are outside the field of view you cannot able to see your image in the mirror okay children so your eyes is lies in the field of you you can able to see the image of you so that is the statement given is true in case of plane mirror object distance is equals to the image distance right children so how much the distance you are from the mirror the image is also formed at the same distance from the image if you go forward image also appears to come forward if you touch the mirror image is also touch the mirror right children so this is also true so option a and b are the true clear children option a and b are true here yes so all these questions are clear the first question is see 
second question a be done and third question b and fourth one is again a okay so i'll go for next questions yeah fifth silver package a radius of curvature of a plane mirror is infinity right children i already told plane mirror we cannot able to extend and make as a circle so up to infinite distance we can able to see so radius of curvature is infinity that is true there is no any radius suppose i think in the maths you have learned for a straight line where is the radius of the straight line radius of a straight line is infinity we cannot able to take that radius okay center is infinity right image formed by a plane mirror is erect and the same size of the object image formed by the plane mirror whatever image formed by plane mirror it is erect right if you stand like this image is also stand like this and it will be of the same size of the object what is the height is there and the same height image is also will be there okay so both are the correct so we can write the statement a and b are true this is the properties of the image formed by the plane mirror please remember they always be erect and they will be virtual and the same size that is what we can call magnification is one so all the sum of the properties their focal length will be infinity radius of curvature will be infinity right children so this points please remember for plane mirror okay for the plane mirror these are the few properties you need to remember next one field of view is a region between two extreme reflected rays right extreme reflected rays when uh, when you going to touch on the last ray so this side of the last ray incident i will going to insert at the end of the mirror places that time you will get extreme reflected ray this is only the last reflected ray means that's all so that is only what we call as a field of view up to here to here what is the field of view okay that is correct next the field of view depends upon location of the object in front of the mirror that is correct if you are there inside the field of view or you are present outside the field of view that is a matter okay so both the statements are true here you can go with option a again clear children the second statement and first statement are yes yes next one calculate the shortest length of the mirror in which man can see his full length man can see his full length he need to oh, what is the calculation part yes yes these two questions are clear children everyone we'll go for third question yes okay fine yes children i'll just clear this i see children so the derivation part is there for third one please try to write okay first listen then you write let us take a mirror okay this is a mirror mark it has a just m and n of length is l okay the length of the mirror we take in hands a length the question is that what they are asking the shortest length of the mirror in which man can see his full length suppose man will going to stand here what is the mirror length is required to see his full length they are asking now let us take man is standing the incident rays are coming from the man and fall on the mirror like this right because man acts like a object the incident rays will come and falls on the mirror so at the end points then what will happen when falls on this they going to go back right they going to reflect back on this side also it will going to reflect back in this direction right children so let us take height of the man h here man is going to start is height we take it as a h okay let us take this is h height now just draw the normals which are perpendicular to the mirror so this is one line this is a normal and this is another line this is also normal perpendicular to the mirror okay two normals are perpendicular to the mirrors now let us take a uh, one minute children small error
Okay, let us take man here only. This is the normal and this is second normal. Okay. Now just imagine this distance is y and this distance is y. Okay. From here to here, distance is x, distance is y. I wrote this distance because you know angle of instance is equals to angle of reflection, right, children? This ray is incidenting with some angle means. Okay, let us take this is incidenting with some angle. It will also reflect the same angle. So that is why this distance x is equals to x I wrote. Understand at what angle it is incident here. So the same angle it will reflect back also. Right children? So what angle it will incident? The same angle will reflect back about the normal. So here y y equal and here x x is equal. And I told this is the height also. Ma height of the man who is standing here. This is the total height. Now see the figure carefully. Height of a man. The total we can write is here 2y. y plus y right children? y plus y is there. And plus here x plus x is there. Okay. x plus x. So how what we can write it has? So 2y plus of 2x or 2y plus x. And you can observe the figure here L. L is there here. So length of length from here to here is a length. And you observe this is parallelly in line. From here to this point is parallelly is there. Okay. Oh, let us you mark you want anything or else just as you can observe figure carefully. This whatever the length is there, that length and this line both are equal. Okay, because two normals are parallel to the mirror. Okay, normals are always par perpendicular to the mirror. Both so x plus y is nothing but I can write it as a L because length is nothing but now x plus y, right? So one x and one y gives you the length. So height of the man is equals to two times of the length, or length of a mirror required to see is full length is by two. Okay, the two I am going to send it up. So this is the answer. So what is the answer? Half of the length of the mirror, half of his length of the mirror is required to see his full image. Example, to understand you better, let us take example like my height of the man is equals to uh, 5 feet. Okay, or as, uh, okay, imagine 5 feet a man is there. Okay, so that time what is the length of the mirror required? 5 by 2, 5 by 2, so he required 2.5 feet meter is required. Okay, you added feet or meters, whatever unit you can take. So half of his length of the mirror is required. So option here, option A is the correct. Clear children? So third question is option A. Now zoom in. Yes, ma zoom in. Unmute. Ma'am, should we maintain different books for physics, and, uh, technophysics and, and this ma'am? No, separate book, no need. In NCRT, whatever you written, uh, CBSC portion, right? Remaining half you yeah. maintain for this. Then where you wrote concept okay. one? Ma'am, I wrote in rough note, ma'am. Because uh, Don't write in rough note, okay? Write in no, 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 today only I came one. to home. Ah, fine, today fine. only I came to home. Right. Can you explain this? Ah, what ma'am? Can you explain this question once, ma'am? One second. Okay, fine, ma'am. Yes, Charan. Charan, please unmute. Mama, I'm right. Sub maintain separate book for... Uh... Okay, okay. No problem. No problem. That is up to your wish, ma'am. You feel separately if you maintain no wish or else maintain this book also, no problem. Yeah, once again, see, children, I'll explain once again this question. The question is asking that calculate the shortest length of the mirror in which the man can see his full image. Suppose man is just standing in front of the mirror. So what is the length of the mirror required to see his full length of the uh, image they're asking. So because here you can see the opt man is standing, you just imagine incident rays are falling on the mirror. Okay, The incident ray just falls on the mirror. They're going to extend it. Reflected rays will come. Okay, Incident rays like this, it will fall. The reflected ray go. So that man will be lies inside the field of view completely. No? So he can able to see his image when mirror height will be half of it. Or using the calculation you wanted to see. So let us take length of the mirror has L. Okay, L I'm taken length of the mirror and the H I'm taken height of the person. And you can see the incident ray. This is one incident ray and this is another incident ray. Okay, let us take this point as more. 
from O incident rays are falling on the mirror. So what will happen? The extreme at the end point, you can take extreme reflected. This is one extreme reflected ray, and this is another extreme reflected ray. Okay. So why it will come? Because at what angle it will going to incident on the mirror? The same angle reflect back. This is incident ray, and this is a reflected ray. So I is equals to R right according to your second law. Angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection. So this angles are equal. And here to here side is also equal. X is equals to x i root. And similarly, this side, the ray is incidenting with some angle i, so it will reflect back with some angle r. So y is equals to y here because this angles are equal. So this side must be equal. So okay. Now you can observe the figure carefully. The l, whatever the perpendicular distance is there, that l here to here, and here to here is also same. That means in place of l, we can write it as x plus y. Right, children? One x plus one y is almost parallel to m n. Okay, so x y is nothing but l that is x plus y. So in place of x plus y, I can write it as l. Now you can see the height of the person. Height is equals to this y, this y x x. So two y two x times the height is there. So y plus y plus x plus x are two y plus two x. Or you can take the two common y plus x will come. So y plus x or x plus y is nothing but Your length. So height is equals to two times of the l will the length of the mirror will come. Our length of a mirror is equals to h by two. H is what children? This is the height and this is the length of mirror. Okay, don't confuse. So to see his full image, the man required half of its length of the mirror is required. Okay. So it is option A, children. So this question is clear to everyone. Yes. Shall we go for next question, children? Masamal, is it clear? Still talking? Okay. Yes, ma'am. New man. Ma'am, how you got the five feet, ma'am? I didn't turn it. Hey, I did not get this one. I just example I'm taking. This is separate. Just okay. one example. This is not related to this one. For your understanding, explanation, I take it. Okay. Let's see. If a if a height is five feet, means what is the length of the mirror required? That time half of it means two point five. Okay, like that. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Right, children. We'll go for next question. Yeah, fourth one is easy that question. You can also solve this one. The given passage type question here. Ah, uh, reflection of light is absorbed in two cases. They are placed. They are plain and the curved. What happened? Yes, Newman. No, ma'am. Okay, fine. Right. See the reflection of light is absorbed in two cases. Okay, where the plane mirror and in case of the curved mirrors also we can see that plane mirror also reflection taking place and in spherical or curved mirrors also reflection take place. The basic laws of reflection are there like two laws of reflection like uh, rays and the angle. So both the laws of reflection be valid for plane angle and the sorry plane and the curved mirrors also. The point of intersection of incident rays is called the object. Where incident rays are going to incident, no. So intersect the in two incident rays are called as an object, and the intersection of reflected rays is called as an image. When reflected will go like this, when you going to extend them back, the reflected rays will going to meet. That will create the image. Okay, this is an object where incident rays will going to intersect. Image means the reflected rays will going to intersect. Okay, this is what the story they given. Now, first question, see. An angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection. It is called as angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection. This is what called as the law of refraction. No, it is the law of reflection. Option B. Okay, In the last concepts also we learned this. Option A B. Next one. Point of intersection of incident rays. When incident rays will going to intersect. So what will produce? That is what we call from incident ray object is. Uh, object from object interest rays will come. So that is what we call as a object. 
okay the point of intersection of incident rays is called as a object so it is option c next image or oh, sorry object or image can be see children object or image can be either what real or virtual why in condition like in two condition we learn no? when image like in first condition like when object is there at infinity image the rays will fall on the mirror so what happen they going to converge right when they going to converge here reflected rays are meeting actually okay in that reflected rays are meeting that is what we call real image will going to form that is condition or if in that condition object will be virtual okay sorry children yeah next one when uh, when object is there at uh, in front of the mirror not at infinity in that condition what happen reflected will go to infinity but they appears to meet at the back so this is what we call virtual image okay appears to meet reflected rays are appears to meet virtual image reflected rays actually meeting here real image so both are possible image also both are possible vice versa right so it is option c next question mark the correct statements here the image of the virtual object is the image of the virtual object is the given sorry the image of virtual object is virtual that is wrong because virtual object is virtual please remember if object and image are always if this is real this must be virtual of object is virtual image must be real okay so this is not possible if incident rays are converging then we get a real image real object see in the first condition real incident rays are converging here okay incident rays are just converging coming together and to forming a real image so this is right the real object that is correct next so this condition the incident rays are meeting this is a real object okay next one if reflected rays are converging then we get a real image if reflected rays are converging in this condition reflected rays are converging this is a real image you will get okay so this is also correct so and image of a virtual sorry if, if the image is virtual then the corresponding object is called virtual object no corresponding object is called real object so this is a false statement option a b and c are the correct please write children for fourth one option b and the c are the correct is it clear children this questions four questions Yes.